Who bet this? Spider! Ow! How are we getting pampered, ladies? <laughs> pampered <and> maintenance. <laughs> All right, well, Jen made breakfast and is now getting Raylan done out of the shower. Um, I have got the most recent orders is the daily thing. Like we get, sometimes we'll have a rush when we push a bunch of Etsy orders and we'll, you know, have hundreds of orders. Um, but here lately we've had quite a bit of stuff just in stock. Um, so if you are curious, it is in stock down though. But we get like four or five orders, you know, a day and stuff like that. So, and we get phone calls. So that was actually Grammy Karen. Some days, it's really nice because when we have a very hefty load like today is, we can do these kind of things for virtual homeschool. And here, we already cut into it, but here is Jen's amazing sausage crescent roll breakfast. It is so freaking good, y'all. Okay, while Raylan is doing school with Grammy, um, Wyatt's just waiting his turn. He's upstairs doing what he wants for now until it's his turn. We'll do separately so that they don't have to fight for attention. Um, I am making some more blueberry syrup to can, so I'm not going to show you how because we do have a video on it. We'll link it below. It's a very easy process. I do also have some apples to put up. I was thinking about doing apple pie filling and canning that. I don't know that I'll get to it today though because I do need to make some soaps too. So, busy day. Thankful for grandparents that can teach kids while I'm busy in the kitchen. And Zach's actually working his job and editing a video for YouTube and I'm sure oh doing orders yeah all the things but I'll show you what I got so far if it is something you're interested in you only need eight cups of frozen or flesh, fresh blueberries these are fresh that were frozen and I'm going ahead and whisking together my sugar salt water and lemon juice and then we're gonna put it in the water bath canner I got all the blueberry butter done. I got eight more pints of that, so that's wonderful to put in the pantry. And now I'm tackling the eggs, so let me show you what I'm doing. Also, the kids are done with school, um, but Raylan is playing some little reading games on the computer, so that helps her. She's more of a game, fun kind of learner. Um, that's her learning aspect, so that's what she's working on. So I went up to the barn, I forgot to take the camera, but I went up there mainly to check on the goats because I could hear Butters breathing on our barn camera. And I hear her all the time, but every time I hear it, I'm like, well, maybe it's escalating. So I went up to check on them. Everyone's fine. She still looks like she is way past due, but she's good. Um, everyone else is good. So I hung out with them for a little bit and then I collected all the eggs. So I had already planned to get the eggs in the freeze dryer today because we got done with the onions and all of that food that I showed you all that we got, we got through it all. So now that we've got all that done, I can go back to eggs. So I've got four, tra it'll be four trays of 18 each. So I'm cracking those, I already got them washed. Um, I laid them out, cracking them, um, whisking them up and I'm gonna put those in the freeze dryer Meanwhile, I went through the eggs that we had in the pantry, got rid of what was no good anymore, that was too old. I did the float test and some of them unfortunately floated. It wasn't many. So we got rid of those and then I collected the eggs for the day, which is probably not all of them. And we have a ton of eggs. So at this point, I wish the chickens would stop laying. But we have to be grateful because we have a lot of eggs. So I showed you that big pile. Those are all good. They're all new. 
Um, I just put them in cartons and I'm just going to leave them on the counter where I can see them so that I continue this cycle of eggs in the freeze dryer because as soon as these are done, I've got to get more in. So I'm getting these whisked up and then we're going to get these in the freezer. If you're wondering, we save all of our eggshells every time. We do a freeze drying batch or anytime we cook with eggs, we save all of the eggshells because they are wonderful for the garden. So what I do is I put them in here just for the time being and then I'll lay them out, I'll let them dry and then I'll crumble them up and put them in mason jars and use them for the garden this spring. If you're wondering what I mean by a lot of eggs, this is a five gallon bucket and it is almost half full and that's today's collection of eggs, just today's. Okay, it is now supper time. So I kind of run out and get feed and stuff, and I got all the eggs done, got all that. Well, it's not put up, but it's done. And it's now time to cook supper. You know, I don't want to. It's one of those days where you just want to snack or eat cereal for dinner, but Raylan requested spaghetti. So that's what we're doing. It's going to be really good. I'm glad she did because it makes you get up and do it. So we're gonna get that done. Um, Zach is actually outside with the kids, taking them. He took them up to the barn for a little bit and then he took them out to the garden. So they're hanging out out there while they cook supper and then we'll see what we do when they get back in. All right, so we used our homemade spaghetti sauce and our spaghetti, <laughs> Lordy Day. If y'all ain't seen that video on Facebook. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it went viral. <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> if you just need like a, a little bit of comedy in your day, go read the comments. <laughs> Please do. Please do. <laughs> and don't worry about the insults. <laughs> Honestly, we look back and we laughed at all of them because it's like, wow. Yeah, that's what people really think. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also made a French loaf to go with it. And I made lima beans because I can't have spaghetti without a vegetable. I don't know why. I just I have to have a vegetable. It's kind of Jen's thing. Like I, I don't know what it is. Like she can never just have like a like a soup or a bowl of one thing. Yeah. It's always gotta have veggie on the side. Yeah. It's okay. I'm getting a lot more greens in my body than I I probably had in the past. <laughs> okay. It is the next day. It's been crazy. We didn't even capture everything in this day in the life. My goodness. So it is the next day. The eggs are done. And we actually went to Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll tell you about that here in just a second, but for now, I gotta get these eggs out of the freeze dryer because we got a lot of stuff that needs to go in there. All right, there you go. Four trays from the Harvest Right freeze dryer gives you a half gallon and two quarts. So this one has 36 eggs in it. And these two each have 18 eggs in it that will now last up to 25 years. Pretty stinking cool, huh? All right, babe, eggs are done. What are you doing over here? I am making quiche because we have Airbnb guests and that is what they wanted. All right, so you got your caramelized onions. Yep. What you got going over here? That is our um, pork that we're cooking up that we're gonna add to the quiche because it's really, really good. And we're gonna put our squash on, we're gonna put some peppers on, our eggs, and cheese. Anything else? And that pork is the one that she canned the pork in the roast. Remember that video about canning the different meat? It is so good, y'all. I love canned meat. It's like our favorite now, isn't it? Yeah. We've been, it's tossing it in, adding a little, uh... We're eating it a little bit too quick. I know. It's a little too fast. But it's a good thing, because we need room in that fridge. Yeah. Pan. It's full, and it's not even gardening season. And we did the pantry challenge. All right, the quiche is in the oven. And in that meantime, we thought we would go through our Azure Hall with yeah. you. So we did a different drop this time. It was in North Knoxville. Yeah. And Zach was able to go with us. We took the kids, we made a whole day of it because it's an hour and a half from us. Uh, we also had to get fitted for Tyler and Melissa's wedding that you all know that we're in. It's in. That's in September. So we had to go ahead and get that done. And then we spent a whole day of it and we had a whole lot of fun in Knoxville. And our order got pushed back, so that made us stay even longer. Um, but to be honest, it seems like that's the story with us and Azure. Nobody else seems to have that many delays, but that's our story with Azure every single time. So yeah, I would say this one went really well, but originally, because here's my biggest issue. If it's Friday when they're saying is the estimated delivery date, 
It should never be earlier. Yeah, it was supposed to be a Friday. Yeah, it should always be later because some delay came about. Because people plan around that, right? You know, it's you, it takes about an hour once you finally get there to do everything. Um, if you have a big haul, that is. But they push it up to Tuesday. And, you know, that's a... That's a not great, right? I mean, it's fine, but it's not great because you might you have to replan around that. But, you know, overall, this was a much better experience than any of our Yeah, so it was supposed to be Tuesday at 4.45. Well, on the way there, they changed it and they pushed it back to 6.45. So that just meant that we had to stay in Knoxville longer, <laughs> which was a little inconvenient, but we had a really good time. We it did. turned out really well. The kids had a blast. We did a lot of stuff. We made a full day of it. Uh, but when it came time for the haul, that went really well. So it was a huge drop off. Yeah. I've never seen one that big. There was probably 40, 50 people. Uh, the semi was packed full. And it was really cool to see all those people there. And like, it's kind of like one of those things, if you know, you know. Right. Like we're all here because we want to change the food system. We want to eat better. So yeah, it's like this camaraderie, even though it's strangers. But we did get to meet like... I don't know, 10 or so people that we knew would, didn't know, but they watch us on YouTube, <laughs> yeah. and they were there at the drop, and that was the coolest thing ever. So, we it was quick. We did, you know, we got to talk, but we didn't get to exchange numbers or anything. So, if you were one of those people, please reach back out personally so that we can talk to you and maybe meet up in the future and then get to see you at the next drop. Yeah, absolutely. It was like a little mini homestead event. It was. It was really cool. <laughs> now it's time for the haul. So, you all know we try to grow every ounce of our own food on the farm. But Azure Standard does offer a very great organic, um, well-preserved items that you can have for long-term and bulk orders. Um, we stand behind kind of their philosophy of Azure Standard. And so sometimes we like to bulk up a little bit. That's <laughs> so bad. Uh, and then some of the things that you're going to see are going to be stuff that like we're going to freeze dry. Uh, we'll go over it when we get there. But some of the things that we're not growing, but we want in our pantry. Yeah. So let's dive into it. Blinded by the... <laughs> Okay, so you're only going to see one of some things just because I didn't want to haul everything out. So I got two five-pound bags of frozen corn, even though you only see one. I got two five-pound bags of mixed vegetables. And I had ordered two five-pound bags of green beans, but they were out of stock. So hopefully next time, but it'll roll us right into growing our own, so that's okay. But I think I'm going to freeze dry these, both of these, and put on the pantry shelf. I also got three packages... They're eight ounce packages of raw sharp cheddar cheese. I got three eight ounce packages of feta cheese, organic. We love feta, it's from pasture raised cows. We put feta on everything, it's really good. Feta. Uh, we got a bag of multicolored popcorn, it's a five pound bag, because we've actually been popping our own popcorn and the kids really like it. So we like to do the colored one, obviously when it pops it's not colored, but the kernels are colored and it's kind of a fun thing for them to do. So we've kind of made that a new tradition that we're doing. Um, I got a small box. It's an 80 load box of their country safe laundry detergent. A lot of people love this and I really wanted to try it out. It is compatible with HE washers and this small box is supposed to be 80 loads. It's 50 ounces. Um, but it's just, it's supposed to be way better for you. Sustainable cleaning products and a lot of people swear by it. So I got a small box just to try it. And if we like it, then next time we'll get the big bag. I want to add real quick, before we were Stivers Homestead and we were YouTube, we had a company called Locust Hill Goods. Mm -hmm. And this woman used to make all kinds of those kind of things, like laundry detergents, bath bombs, things like that. Some of the stuff we're kind of inching our way back in. So I think something's cool that I've witnessed in her. I don't even know if she does it consciously. But like I know she knows how to make that exact detergent. But sometimes she likes to purchase what other organic detergents are before she starts testing it herself. Yeah, and the stuff that you buy to make your own is not always the cleanest. So even though you're making your own batch, the sources that you're getting it from are not the greatest. So you can play around with it and get it to where it is clean products. But if you don't have time, in the meantime, <laughs> you can use this one. That's right, but we can all bet on here the next batch she'll probably make. Probably. <laughs> all right, we got the kids. I want to try this. They're very picky about their toothpaste, but we want to move to a cleaner toothpaste. We're trying to move to all cleaner health products that we use. Not health products, but hygiene products. So I got these little tubes of strawberry fluoride-free natural toothpaste. It's called Jack and Jill. They do love strawberry flavor. I know that because they've had it. So they're going to try that and see if they like it. Along with toothpaste, I also got us three of these tubes 
tea tree oil, ultra care toothpaste, fluoride free, SLS free, gluten free, and vegan. Mega mint. So we're going to try those and see if we like them. I also got a 16 ounce thing of vanilla, vanilla extract pure. I'm out. So that came at really good timing. Uh, we got coffee. Zach really likes this coffee. We've done it before. It's the organic breakfast blend. So these are 12 ounce bags. It came with six of them. He's already opened one. That was out. <laughs> <laughs> but coffee is one of the most heavily sprayed products. Everybody consumes coffee. Not everybody, but the majority of people do. So if you can find a clean coffee, you're really cutting down on a lot of the nasty stuff that you put in your body. This next one's for me and the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that good compromise of getting it cleaner and yeah. not so bad for you. Yeah. We finally broke down. Um, I don't know if everybody was in agreement, but I kind of made the executive decision that we were going to try Azure's ketchup because this family, Zach and the kids, eat way too much ketchup. We're buying it way, way more than any family should. <laughs> so I bought eight, no, 12, Twelve. 20 ounce, which is one pound. Of these bottles it's organic natural it's supposed to be a whole lot better for you sure sugars cut down a whole lot yes. which is you know one of the biggest issues with ketchup yep so we're gonna try it i think they'll like it it'll be fine and now we've got a stock of ketchup that we don't have to go buy all right i got three pounds of organic horseradish root i'm gonna make some tinctures out of that that's gonna be really good i'm pretty sure that was one that you tried to get on bulk yes, but and they didn't have, have it so yeah. i got it from azure um, obviously growing your own is really cool, but I don't have that yet. So they, they do sell a lot of stuff like this that you can get in bigger sizes if you're into making tinctures and teas and all that kind of stuff. We've got a 25 pound bag of certified organic steel cut oats. We've got a 25 pound bag of unbleached organic bread flour and another one of organic unbleached bread flour. Blood. <laughs> We got three 10 pound bags, so 30 pounds of all purpose flour, unbleached, organic. And we got 12 16 ounce boxes of pasta. It's penne, but it's whole wheat, organic, and it's really good pasta. If you ever want to stock up on pasta, definitely get it from Azure. And now we can just put that in our pantry. That is white basmani rice. 25 pounds. It is. I don't see the poundage on it. I don't remember. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and we also got 60 pounds of pure clover honey. Raw. raw. Organic unfiltered. Raw organic unfiltered honey. It's a little loud out here. Yeah. Okay, so this looks crazy and it kind of is. But this is not all of the celery. I got a huge box of celery. It's all organic. The rest is kind of placed in all the fridges. I just, we got home at like 10 o'clock last night and we had to figure out what to do for all this cold stuff. So what I'm gonna do with that celery is I'm gonna freeze dry it all. And that's gonna be really cool to have freeze dried celery. So I wanted to get it in bulk so that I could just process it all at one time and get it done. So that was 30 bunches of organic celery. And then I got two 30 pound, 25 pound bags of carrots. You can't see them because they're buried here. I just tried to keep them cold overnight, but I'm gonna start processing those today. But two 25 pounds bags of organic carrots. And what I'm gonna do with those is I'm going to can them. So the next few days are going to be very busy. So I will say, I think we were one of the only few that actually got fresh produce mm -hmm. um, from Azure Stand. And I think that's something that, you know, once we, when we bought it, we didn't think of it fully through, we thought we would have more time. But once you get it, you're like, oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, but we have a plan on preserving. That's the whole reason we got it in general. And obviously we grow our own carrots too, but this- Spider! Oh! <laughs> Where? He, he was coming down. Oh my God. Is it on me? <laughs> that sucked. Oh. He just spider webbed down. It better not be on me. Is it on me? I didn't see him. He lit him. I think you're good. Oh my God. <laughs> Where were we? Well, we didn't find it. Yeah. Probably in my hair. Yeah, probably. Anyways. Uh, so that's going to take us into carrot season because yes. we're about to start all of our own carrots from seed. We can can these that we bought and then that'll roll us in because we eat a lot of carrots. That'll roll us into being able to can, th can the ones that we buy. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a supplemental thing, right? You grow your own food, but there's down times and seasons where you might have to purchase it. And the best way to do that is to purchase it from a company that's clean, that sources from clean people and farms that grow it organically, don't spray it, non-GMO. 
And it's just kind of what you do to get you through the certain seasons that you can't grow all the things. Yeah, and I will add, like, if you saw all the ingredients that she got that she's preserving, it's a lot of soup stuff, right? Yeah. And I think that is where we focused on, especially with freeze drying, because you get your, your broth going. Then you have all this freeze dry stuff you can throw right in. It's already ready, and it'll rehydrate and just be already be tender, too. So it's, it's really good to make sure that you have a plan with your preserving. Like, you, if you're getting a bunch of carrots and celery, you got to eat a bunch of carrots and celery. Yeah. And we do, especially within our stocks and soup. So it can also just make stock. When we have bones, you know, that's what we do to add the flavor to actually make our broth up. Um, but, yeah, it's really cool. I love how her mind can picture those things. It's hard for me to do so when it comes to canning. I'm better when it comes to projects and such like that. Yeah, and obviously every family has different needs. You might not need 30 bunches of celery or mm -hmm. 50 pounds of carrots, um, but that's something that our family consumes a lot of. We also consume a lot of frozen veggies in the seasons where we don't have them. We also freeze a lot of our own. So mm -hmm. it's just stuff that our family is good for, like the ketchup. You know, you might not eat ketchup, but they do. Yeah. And yes, <laughs> um, you can make your own. That's yeah. absolutely an accurate statement. Um, but this is that stuff to get just have it. To be able to grab. Yeah, and if you're interested in Azure, check them out because this is not even a fraction of what they offer. They have so much mm -hmm. stuff, and I'm sure there's something that would tailor to your family. Something that you consume a lot of and you just want to get a better product of. Yeah, and I will add, we are not affiliated with Azure Standard. Um, I know sometimes people think that we are not at all. We purchase all this on our own. Um, the one thing that we, she said the green beans, but we also try to get pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. And no, cane sugar. Cane sugar. Which is something that I always buy. That's right. It was cane sugar. That's right. Yeah. And so that's something that we always like to have around too. They didn't have that. But, you know, they let you know up front if it's going to be on the truck or not. Yeah. So we do actually have a refer a friend, but all of you all have this. So if you're a part of Azure Standard, you can refer a friend and you both get discounts. Uh, kind of like how we do with Butcher Box too. So that will be down below if you're interested. But like I said, it's just the refer a friend thing. So this day in the life span like three days, <laughs> um, but it's, you know, it's kind of showing the chaos of what a homestead farm life is like. You're always doing something. Sometimes it's so busy. You forgot to, forget to grab the camera every once in a while. Um, but we did try to show you a lot of what we do in a day. So hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm about to find out when I edit this bad boy, but we'll try to keep it entertaining for you all. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you down below. We love you. Until the next one. Bye. Bye.